Hey everybody, welcome back to IP Farms. Well, we're in the truck again, imagine that, headed down the highway. Seems like that's all I do is film from the vehicle anymore. We are headed to get the last item that I have purchased and intended to pick up finally. This one is local, save the best for last. Uh, we're only about 20, 25 miles from the farm. Uh, it is the second grain bin that I've told you about. A lot bigger, um, and if things work out and this loading process goes okay, I may end up just keeping this one and uh, selling the other one because I think this one will hold more than I'll, I'll ever have the need for. But we'll see, that's another story. So, super nice gentleman I got it from. Uh, he had a crane, I think he set it on the ground with a crane. I think he's gonna load it with a low or a little uh, low type deal anyway. So, we'll see. I wanna say it's about 10 feet wide, so I'm not really looking forward to that as far as going up, because I gotta go through rush hour. Uh, but hopefully it won't be too bad, just left the daily. So, I'll bring it along for a little bit of load, and we'll see what happens, so stay tuned. get you much footage on this one guys it was uh wide open i got a little clip when i was backing up he had one of those uh lulls little newer type lull deal and had a spreader on it i guess for from his crane that was amazing uh they're not heavy they're just awkward so <laughs> i guess uh i guess unfortunately this one's probably going to end up staying on the trailer for a while because until I rent one or find somebody with a boom truck, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one off. Um, which I knew that ahead of time. That's one reason why I saved this one to last, because I don't really have anything uh, big that I need to go get with a big trailer. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, I'll bring you back when we get to the farm. We'll go over it a little bit more and go from there. Here they both are. Hopefully you can see the size comparison there. Uh, it's quite a bit larger than the feed bin. Uh, I think it's considered an upright silo maybe. But the trip went well. Uh, can't complain about being that close. Pennies on the dollar of course. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do from this point. Um, got a lot of thinking to do. I might have mentioned it in the first part of the video. But I very seriously doubt that we wind up with both of them uh, upright. So got some decisions to make. But we get down here in the shop where it's got a little bit more light and uh, we'll just wrap this one up as another short one, guys. We're going to wrap this one up in the shop. It got dark on the outside. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Wasn't a whole lot. I wish I'd have got more footage of loading it, but when somebody's doing you that big of a favor, you don't ask them to put their time on hold for you to set up a camera. He has a very substantial business and he, you know, did me a huge favor. Um, a few clips coming in here or there. Hopefully you can tell the difference between them. I'm not sure what the future will hold for the grain bin situation. You know, pennies on the dollar, buy it cheap, sell it steep. The profit margin is very substantial on the feed bin itself, the smaller of the two. So if I had to guess, I would say that will get the ax. Um, you know, I can't keep that much uh, material, grain, crop, whatever you want to call it, um, from going bad with no air systems in that, you know, if I had a, a regular floor bin, as I call them. But I do have a small uh, system I've got sketched out that I think I can make work on the bigger one better than I can on the smaller one So, you know, that'll all be in the future, but got a lot coming down the ladder a lot of projects coming up I think the road trips are gonna cease um, I can't really get anything else on the trailer until I figure out how to get that off And I don't have anything nor my cousin does to get that off. So we'll see what happens I'm gonna have to rent a low. I know that but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like I said, thank you for everything uh, you do continue to follow on the journey with me here. I might slow down a little bit on the videos for just a little while. I don't want to make too much repetition on the same old, same old just to be putting out a video. Um, 
you know if you guys enjoy it i appreciate that if you don't i totally understand but we'll see what happens and uh i'll keep you posted on anything that goes on here at the farm when it does until next time thank you